All right, guys. Took an order of blue hippo tang. He's pretty shy. And let's see if I can get a shot over here. There he is. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's a flame hawk fish right there. Flame hawk fish hiding under this side. Uh, yellow goby did not ship. Uh, live aquaria. This order was, I think, one week delayed because of staffing shortages, they said. You know how it goes with COVID nowadays. Uh, it's like everybody blames everything on shortages. Uh, the blue hippo tang, just like the last one, has some spots of ick or velvet. Uh, so he came in that way. So we'll see how this goes. Right now they're sitting at about, oh, I don't know. Uh, I put in one teaspoon. They're supposed to have five teaspoons total. So they start out at one teaspoon every day. I figure I'll go up one, up one, up one, up one. Then I'll test to make sure we're sitting at 2.5. Uh, 2.5, yeah. 2.5 copper. We'll make sure we're at that level. Let them sit in that for two weeks straight. Maybe more. I'm not sure. I'll do more research on it. Let me know how many weeks uh, should they go in uh, this copper. This is different than Coopermine. I don't know. So, I'm in no rush, guys. I'm treating Ick in the main display downstairs with Coopermine. Thanks to the last blue hippo tang that brought it in from Live Aquaria. Uh, everyone's still alive down there. But uh, pretty sure the copper is probably pretty brutal on them. Coopermine, I guess, is stronger. This is a safer copper, and I wish I would have had it. Because I would have started with this, but I don't want to mix, you know. I don't want to put in the carbon and wait a week for the Coopermine to come out and then put this. So... Cause you just never know how much of it's leached into the rocks and all that so oh boy keep you guys updated i'll do another uh another segment on the next segment here talk to you later love you guys i need an expert opinion what's going on with this blue hippo tang here you guys see that white splotches on his side is that normal or is that something is he sick um, this guy came in from Live Aquaria two days ago. Sorry, I've been working some late nights. Um, what do you guys think? Should I be concerned? He's kind of, he hasn't eaten yet. Um, he stayed in these tubes. He's only swam twice that I've seen. Very little. Hiding non-stop. There's a hawkfish. Weirdo. There he is. Uh, the yellow Watchman Gobi has not come in yet. Apparently it's going to ship at a later date. So, anybody got any ideas? Is this normal for the blue uh, hippo ting? Uh, to stay in the tube all day? I mean, it doesn't swim at all. Anybody got any input on that? Comment down below, please. I need to know if, you know, something's going on with this guy. I don't even know if you can see the splotches on him. See on, under his belly there? The white cloudiness. On the other side of him, there's some of those in the middle of his body. So if you know anything about blue hippo tanks, let me know. Is, did yours do this for the first two days? Like, Because the last one we got, he, was, he at least swam around. This guy ain't even swimming. So let me know. Shoot me a comment. Love you guys. Uh, we've done, I'm almost a half dose of copper power. Just going up one teaspoon a day until we reach the 2.5 level or whatever. So, God, the hawkfish are strange fish. He's funny. Um, yeah, love you guys.